ইংলিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লিশ্লি
what have we learned so far about the vertically opposite angles and then corresponding angles so if there are corresponding angles they are also equal to each other it means angle a is equals to angle c because they are vertically opposite but angle a is also equals to angle e and g because angle e is corresponding to angle a and angle e and g are vertically opposite so in this case when there are two parallel lines and a transversal cuts them so four angles are equal to each other and the other four are also equal to each other so four of the angles will be 75 75 75 75 Angle A, 75. Angle C, 75. Also, angle E, 75. Angle G, 75. And then the next four angles, angle D and B are vertically opposite. So, both will be 105, 105 each. And also, angle H and F will be 105, 105. Because angle B and F are corresponding. Similarly, angle H and angle D are also corresponding. Okay, so we can write over here that angle A is equals to angle E, angle B is equals to angle F, angle C is equals to angle G, angle D is equals to angle H. Now let's move to question number one of exercise 5.1 and let's see what is happening over here. So if you find, you will see that the two vertical lines are parallel now. Okay, so we have to look for the transversal. Transversal line is over here. This is the transversal line. So let us first look at that which angles would be vertically opposite and which ones would be uh, corresponding to each other. So if we talk about angles, four angles on one single line, they are U, V, W and T. In this case, angle U equals to angle W and also angle V is equals to angle T. Why? Because they are all vertically opposite. Right? And if we talk about the same uh, four angles on the other uh, parallel line, let's look at these parallel lines as A and B. We have four angles on line A and four angles on line B. So again, angle Q equals to angle S and angle P is equals to angle R because they are also vertically opposite. Right? But we have to look at the diagram and we have to write four pairs of corresponding angles and then we have to write two pairs of alternate angles. So we have to write down the alternate angles as well. First, let us look at the corresponding angles. Now, students, it's very easy how to write down the corresponding angles. Write down numbers. One, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now, when you will see that 1, 1 equals to each other, so angle U and angle Q are corresponding. 2, 2 equal, angle V and angle R are corresponding. 3, 3 equals so angle W and angle S are corresponding. T and P, 4, 4 are equal. So angle T and angle P are corresponding to each other. So we are going to write it like this. For part A, we will write angle U and angle Q, number one. Number two, angle V and angle R. Number three, angle W and angle S. Number four, angle P and angle T are pairs of corresponding angles. Then what are alternate angles? So we must understand that what are alternate angles first. So first of all, let us understand using the two parallel lines. When the two parallel lines so, four, four angles are formed. But when we talk about the angles inside, 
only four angles are there inside the two parallel lines. These are the two parallel lines. So there are four pairs of angles formed. So when we talk about the angles over here, angle A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H. In this case, students always remember when we make a Z over here. So angle C and E are alternate angles and alternate angles are also equal to each other. We have already learned about it. Okay. So angle B and H are alternate and also angle C and E are alternate. So let's see what angles are alternate over here. First, we are going to make the Z over here and then it would become easier for us to locate which of the angles are. This is the Z. You can see inside the two parallel lines. So angle Q and angle W. Angle Q and angle W are alternate angles. Similarly, angle T and angle R. These are the two pairs of alternate angles. Okay, students. Now let's move to question number two. Question number two says one angle of one angle of 62 degrees marked in the diagram as you can see over here these are the two parallel lines first of all look at the parallel lines these are the two parallel lines okay and we have already uh, learned how what are the corresponding angles one angle is 62 degrees and now we have to copy and complete these sentences because corresponding angles are equal so angle dash is equal to 62 degrees so which of the two are corresponding angles let us make it these two line angles will be corresponding first we are going to make an angle around 62 degrees and then we will find that which of the angle is exactly similar to it in uh, appearance. So it's angle B. So we are going to write angle B is equal to 62 degrees. Similarly, because alternate angles are equal. So what angles are equal to each other? So angle 62 is also equal to angle look over here. We are going to make start making the angle like this. This is the angle. We'll extend the line and make a Z. When the Z is formed, then you, it's very easy for you to locate that which of the two angles are alternate. This angle is alternate to angle D. You see, whenever a Z is made, these two angles are alternate. The Z could be like this or like this. Right? So, 62 is alternate to angle D and 62 is all, uh, corresponding to angle B. The two same angles. Okay. Both of them looks like this. Now we have to write the letters of a pair of vertically opposite angles. So in this case, we can see that in, there is only one pair of alternate angles shown. Why? Because only four angles are given over here. So we will make the cross over here and we can write the uh, letters of a pair of vertically opposite angles, which would, would, would be D and B. Angle D and angle B are vertically opposite. You can write this one as well. Or you can write angle A and angle C are also vertically opposite. Okay. Now let's move to question number three which says the sizes of two angles are marked in the diagram as you can see. Okay. Which other angles are 105? We have already learned that the opposite angles are vertically opposite. So 105 is opposite to angle Q. This would be 105. Similarly, 75 and P are vertically opposite. So these two would be 75 each. Right. And then uh, we have to mark below uh, the parallel line uh, S U uh, R S T U. Okay, so we have already learned that if we will mark them 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be easier for us to understand that angle S is equals to 75. So angle T would also be 75. Vertically opposite, S and T are vertically opposite. Similarly, 2 and 2 are equal to each other. So angle uh, U is equals to 105. 
and the last one angle r is also 105 so you see how easy it is just follow the steps and you will find the angles which are corresponding or which are alternate or which are uh, vertically opposite now we have to complete these sentences we are provided with two parallel lines b and d a b and c d are parallel lines to each other x q x y is a uh, transversal over here this is the transversal line okay now angle a p y a p y what is that angle this angle they are talking about this angle a p y and c q y this one these two angles are corresponding simple as you can see both are on the different pa parallel lines and both have the same nature of angles okay these are the two angles so these two angles are corresponding then a p y and x q d x q d which is the x q d this angle starting from x going till q and then moving towards d this angle they are talking about it means these two angles a p y and x q d so there is a z over there since there is a z so it means these two angles are alternate angles then comes a p x now they are talking about some other angle what is that a p x above it this one and dash are corresponding angles. So APX and below it, 1, 1. It means this angle. APX, so the next angle to it is CQX. So it will be CQX. Right? And then CQX and dash are alternate angles. So which angle would be uh, alternate to CQX? So we are going to make the Z over here. Now, whenever we have to find out the alternate angles, we have to make the Z. C, Q, X, making a Z like this. The Z is somewhat like this. Sometimes you will have Z like this. Sometimes you will have a Z like this. Sometimes the Z would be like this. Or sometimes the Z would be like this. Okay. So, since the Z is like this, C, Q, X is this angle. And the opposite to it is this angle, which is y p b okay we can see that as c q x and b p y so we can write b p y we'll start the angle from here go till p and then go down till y okay now c q p the third uh, the last angle c Q, P, this angle and dash are vertically opposite. When we talk about the vertically opposite, we just have to look at the straight lines on which the angles are formed. So since they're talking about this angle, the vertically opposite angle is this one. Okay. You see, these are the two lines. These two angles will be vertically opposite. So C, Q, X or C, Q, P is vertically opposite to Y, Q, D. So what we have learned, sorry, Y, Q, D. It's not Y, Q, Q, Q. It's Y, Q, D. We have learned about the vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles and uh, alternate angles in this video. Inshallah, we are going to learn about a few more in the next video. Until then, take care. Do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to uh, share it with your friends. Take care. Allah Hafiz.